So one of the reasons why I'm really excited to be in the beauty industry is because it's always a combination of right brain, left brain. You know, there's strong business fundamentals in beauty, but it's also about building in a deeply personal and emotional connection with the customer by building a differentiated brand. So I think it's been incredible um, to see the power of data, especially as a largely direct to consumer brand, to really inform everything that we do. I think the real shift in the industry has been the fact that new tools and platforms um, really democratize data across the team and organization. You can test and learn much faster and always be customer back in everything that you do. For example, we have a digital skin quiz. Through um, the tech behind it, it recommends personalized routine for you. What it also does is gets us 300,000 data points every single month about our customer. And we saw that 48% of customers had concerns with acne and blemishes. So that's an unbelievable white space opportunity where acne is not a teenage problem. And so we launched an acne franchise and that's been an unbelievable success. So that sort of shows you when you find that sweet spot and white space in the market, it can be really powerful. What we're really focused on is um, how do you build a really powerful forever brand business? And to do that, you have to be where the customer is. So even though the majority of our revenue is direct to consumer, we know that close to 90% of beauty is still sold offline. And so you have to think about your brick and mortar strategy. It's not only about top line revenue growth, but it's about brand awareness. You know, being in 1200 doors is akin to having 1200 out of home advertising moments. And we really focus on inventing to make that uh, experience with the customer really experiential. And I think the industry as a whole has continued to focus on what is the next wave of innovation and experience in brick and mortar because we know it's here to stay. It's just about how we have a seamless online to offline shopping experience. Something I think a lot about and really try to continually improve upon is this idea of strong opinions loosely held. I think a leader should have a vision should have a clear experience, expertise, and conviction around where to head, but at the same time, the curiosity and humility to change your mind, and the idea that good ideas can come from anywhere, any level of the organization, any team. And so I think it's that balance of having a clear sense of vision and direction and conviction around that, but a real humility and curiosity that you're constantly learning and allowing the best ideas to surface throughout the team.